Thanks Rita, and you've probably noticed that our weather has got stuck. Yes, we've seen lots of rain, haven't we, this month. Uh, already those rainfall totals have been mounting up. Top of the Rainfall League, Topcliffe in North Yorkshire, has already had twice as much rainfall as we'd normally see in the whole of the month of May. And of course, we're only just past the halfway stage of the month. And there's loads more of that unsettled weather to come. No sign of the weather settling down for a good while yet. Good afternoon. The unsettled theme continues not only for today, but for the next few days. You can see from the west, the front's coming in. That's bringing the showers through this morning and more so through the afternoon. Now, this was in Betchworth in Surrey a little earlier. You can see just a little bit of blue sky, so we are getting some brighter spells. But the showers more frequent this afternoon. You can see some heavy ones in there. Might get a rumble of thunder, a bit of hail along with a gusty west to southwesterly wind. Temperatures today reaching 17 Celsius. Well, spring continues to feel well and truly unsprung, doesn't it? I expect these lambs are thinking the same. We've got more of the same weather tomorrow. Some sunny spells, also some heavy showers, a risk of thunderstorms, and it's staying, staying unsettled right through the week. Let's take a little look at the pressure chart. Low pressure's never too far away, bringing bits and pieces of rain and showery weather into the evening, still staying unsettled with further showers around. And that's the story for the outlook. As I said, more showers possible on Thursday, maybe not so many, but wet and windy as we hit Thursday. Let's take a little look at the pollen. No numbers here, thank goodness, just letters. Levels of tree pollen fluctuating, I'm afraid, between moderate and high. That is it from us all here, from me and the bingo caller. We'll see you later on. Cheerio. Right, let's take a look at the weather, which I think is less lovely. Here's Chris Fawkes. Hi, Chris. Hi, Fiona. Yeah, you're exactly spot on. Do you know, over the last three weeks or so, to me, it feels like the weather has got stuck in a rut. And that rut has been a rut of low pressure, really. Now, those rainfall totals have been mounting up. Wettest place so far this month, Top Cliff in North Yorkshire, over twice the amount of rain we'd normally expect to see. And of course, we're only just past the halfway point of the month. There's loads more rain to come, with no end in sight to this unsettled run of weather. Thanks very much, Alice. Well, it has been a pretty stormy day today, so good news for people going indoors. We have had some pretty good showers and they're going to continue into this evening and overnight. Now, that's for the next few days for tonight. This was earlier on. This was over in Hampton Wick early. You can see blue sky. So we have had some nice sunny spells, but those showers moving in and fairly slow moving as well. Some hail down in Clapham and not a million miles away from there. This is in East Dulwich earlier. So these showers the heavens have been opening and they will continue into this evening rumbles of thunder flashes of lightning as well but the good news is they will gradually start to clear you can just see they're making their way out Hello there, good evening. It might be a new week, but there's no change in the weather. Sunny spells and thundery downpours over the next couple of days and towards the end of the week, Thursday into Friday, a spell of some windy and wet weather for a time.